In this series on video editing for beginners, I'm gonna show you everything that you need to know to make awesome YouTube videos. As I add to this series, there's going to be a link down below that will take you into the entire series. But today we are talking about different cuts that you can use in your videos so that you can make your videos more interesting and keep people watching. And later in this video, I'm gonna share with you my secret sauce for making videos look the way that I do. So make sure that you stick around for that. The very first cut that you need to know is the basic or the standard cut. This is simply where you are cutting the clip where you want to cut it and then you're sliding another clip into it. You can use this cut to insert a second shot or you can also use this cut just to bring things together. Next up is the jump cut which is defined as an abrupt transition from one scene to another. This right here for example is a jump cut and as I'm sure you've already noticed these are extremely popular on YouTube. If you're vlogging and you're out in the world and you're not making videos like I do then in that particular case you can also use the jump cut to transition from scene to scene. One thing that I personally like to do when I'm using jump cuts is I actually like to push in or crop in on the frame and the reason that I do that is because it makes those abrupt jump cuts a little bit less abrupt. Another thing that you can do with this depending on how it is that you're shooting your content is if you're shooting 4k footage you can actually use this cut to jump around the frame as well which is also pretty handy. You also have the J cut which is where you hear the audio come in before the video starts to play. For example this would be a J cut so you can see that the audio came through before the actual clip itself started to play. The next one on the list is the L cut. And with the L cut, it's really similar to the J cut with the only difference being that you hear the audio from the previous clip before the next clip starts to play. And that would be an example of an L cut. And here's another example in a completely different environment. There's changing the radio station. There's a lot of things that you can do to be creative to make your video stand out and look a lot different and look more professional. So if you wanna see just how creative somebody can be, I highly recommend watching Breaking Bad. Cross-cutting is next on the list and that is where you cut from person to person or from scene to scene where it makes the most sense. This one can be really good for dialogue if you happen to have a conversation with someone else in your videos, but outside of that, I can't really find a good way to illustrate this one. You know what I mean? Yeah. Got it. All right, good. Next up on the list is action cuts. So if you are a vlogger, one of the things that you can do with an action cut is you basically just cut between actions. So while the action's taking place, you're cutting back and forth instead of just waiting for space or waiting for that action to end. If you do this one correctly, it can be difficult for people to even notice that you're cutting unless they actually know to look out for that sort of thing. Next up on the list is cutaways. If you're a vlogger, cutaways can help you set the scene. Cutaways can also help you illustrate your story better to where let's say that you're talking about something and then you show shots of something else while you're talking, that would be a cutaway. Next up is the montage. This is where you're basically just cutting between a bunch of different shots in order to tell a story across time. So that time can be a handful of seconds, that time can be a handful of days or even years, depending on how you put the montage together. For example, all of those B-roll clips that you see where people are mixing up their coffee and pouring it in the cup and all that stuff, or maybe they are getting their camera gear together or they're going through the process of getting their footage from their camera onto their computer or whatever, all of those different clips that they put together in order to make that happen, that would be a montage. Now, you wanna see something amazing? This is what my video looks like if I don't use my secret sauce. The secret sauce is a plugin called Magic Bullet Looks. It's from Red Giant. They actually hooked me up with this plugin and there's a link to it down in the description below, but it is an amazing plugin if you really want to nail the color and really make your videos pop. Again, a link to Red Giant for that plugin is down in the description below as well as an itemized list of the cuts that I just talked about. So just in case you need it for reference. And to learn even more about editing, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss any of the future videos in this series. On the screen now is the next video in the series or the video that YouTube thinks that you will enjoy most. You can go ahead and click that now and I'll see you in the next video.